how President Zelensky has changed after 17 months of war. This is Volodymyr Zelensky on February 22, 2022, two days before Russia invaded. This is also Volodymyr Zelensky, but on April 4, these photos were taken 41 days apart. But Zelensky looks like he's aged a decade. The Ukrainian president no longer wears suits or ties. Now his signature look is khaki pants and a plain sweatshirt. What else has changed? In 2017, Zelensky voiced a bear in the dubbed version of Paddington 2. Less than two years later, he won the presidential election. He's actually done it before on screen. In 2015, Zelensky starred in Servant of the People. He played a high school teacher turned president of Ukraine. In his real-world campaign, he focused on three issues. 1. Ending the war in Donbass. 2. Establishing a non-corrupt and responsive government. 3. Making life better for ordinary Ukrainians. In December 2019, he first met with Vladimir Putin. Their meeting was part of the Normandy format. It didn't lead to any solution to the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, but things started looking up. By August 2020, there had been a drop in shelling in Donbass. There were several POW exchanges. Russian-backed forces even withdrew a little. Then there was the COVID-19 pandemic. And then came the full-scale invasion. On February 24, 2022, Russian troops started advancing toward Kiev. The US offered to evacuate Zelensky and his family. I need ammunition, not a ride, he said. Zelensky's life was in danger. Russia marked him as target number one. His family was target number two. His wife and children were evacuated from Kiev. Zelensky went two months without seeing them. In a rare interview, Alina Zelenska said, Our family, like all Ukrainian families, is now separated. Zelensky had time for work and sleep. That's it. He moved to a modest Spartan room within his office. This is my home, he said, while giving a tour for a documentary. The small room has everything Zelensky needs a bed, a sink, and a closet. Inside the closet, there are a bunch of khaki clothes, but there are also some suits. Zelensky is saving them for when the war is over. Zelensky also showed the journalist the back room. It's where he spoke with world leaders. On February 24, he had attempted to speak with Putin before the invasion, but Zelensky had been consistently turned away. When asked if he'd be willing to speak with Putin now, he replied, no. Now I am not ready to talk to him. Zelensky also discussed his choice to remain in Ukraine. He didn't think about himself or what might happen to him. He was more concerned about the fallout of his departure. Again, this isn't about bravery. Zelensky insisted. Journalist Dimitro Komarov remarked on the president's appearance. He pointed to his eyes, filled with sadness. I can't give orders to my eyes. It is what it is, Zelensky said. Chances are, it was the stress that left him looking like this. It's a well-known fact that stress can affect health. Just look at all the presidents who leave office looking much older and much more tired.